the 20th on a Monday morning. Bright, beautiful sunshine. Getting ready to go. Gonna move up to the Robinson area today, Crawford County. Uh, I'm not near done with beans. I'm planting the beans around here yet, but I'm gonna move up there because it's good shape. And that gives me three days to get it done. Because it's not supposed to rain until Wednesday night and I can get out in three days. Easy. Build up the truck with gas. My truck, my brother says, it goes gets groceries, pulls around this 300 bushel seed cart. Big load of groceries. But it um, does burn a lot of gas. Puts something behind it, about sucks the bottom out of it. Okay, we're going to fill up with beans now. We've got these. Three hopper tanks here. There goes Eli up to fill me up. We built, built these three hopper tanks back in, uh, I think about 92. At that time, Dad said, go out and do something, do bulk beans and corn, because you ain't gonna be able to do that stuff all your life, handle all that. He's right. But, uh, we got her set up now, she works good. Waiting for him to tell me to stop. There we go. Yeah, each one of these holds about 1,500 bushel of beans. We fill these up in the spring with beans after we treat them, get them going. Fungicide stuff on there, insecticide, inoculant. Really helps. Really, really start to go in. See, I think it's 1992. This is before they was cool. I had a note this morning that said today is your GoPro day, so that meant I had to take the GoPro with me. So maybe I'll give you some words of wisdom today. If I don't get back with you, I never thought of you. Okay, Eli's getting ready to take my truck, so I'm making sure there's not too many dings. One at the back before he takes it off. So. You know, oh, he's got to get a can of pop before he can head out. Are you ready to go, Eli? Okay, keep her out of the ditches. All right, catch you up there. See ya. Look how pretty that looks, man. The ground's in such good shape. Some guys aren't planting very much right now. They say it's too cold. Well. You wait till everything get perfect, you won't get nothing done. Because right now the ground is perfect, just cold. It'll make it. It'll be fine. I'm on this bridge now, and I've got a car in front of me. They'll be able to meet me because they couldn't wait on me. Now they're gonna wait on me after they got the bridge. So we got that down. Whoop! Going back up. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Back it up. had a good trip no one finger waves or anything like that so everybody was hospitable okay we're gonna get this dude unfolded up here and uh, get all ready to go and see if we can get everything in the Crawford County area planted the next three days two and a half days Reese is up here planting corn Travis and, and Eli are working ground I'm gonna be planting beans
Corey and Garrett will be up here spraying later. I'm walking up to the bins now to get my seed tender take it back down here to the field so I'm about a all oh, about a quarter mile get it get filled up so I can keep going instead of driving the tractor folding up back and forth a little walk don't hurt nothing look at that pretty field out there it's what we call the bin field up here at Crawford County all planted the corn about as good as the ground as it gets if that field don't make 240 plus i'll be disappointed but been disappointed before as you can see i just about ran clear out but i got that field done got these scales back here it says they have zero pounds scales have been a disappointment though i thought it'd be in the cab the readout where i could see how much was left back here where you walk back and look anyway and it's not each separate hopper so if anybody's thinking about getting scales on their uh, john deere db60 i would i would not recommend it it's not worth the money if it isn't worth you see it in the cab it'd be all right and you know it's filling this up dusty got this box back here on the tender maybe around there I put the talc in and the graphite as you fill the seed you probably got to put that in these planters keep this uh, beans or corn whatever you're putting in flowing through the hoses to the unit plus it also lubricates the uh, unit itself we're planting these beans here by this prison and they got a lot of light so this is the only the year and the first time in four years we planted the beans because anybody that don't know beans have got to have some darkness to get right so these fields will this field there'll be 25 acres of it over there that will not get right because of the light from the prison just like if you see some green ones around a mercury vapor light somebody's yard that's why it is it lights around the intersection so we'll have to spray these beans when it's time for it to start turning to kill them the only way we'll be able to get them right. Kind of a funny thing. If you didn't know that, you know it now. So we're getting filled up here. Soon we'll be ready to go. Okay, it's about 3.30. Got a couple hundred acres done, maybe so up here at Robinson. Hope to get another 200 plus done by 9, 10 o'clock. Be a good day then get over four. Yeah, I'm in a nice big field now along uh, Phyllis Cummins. The uh, big field of hers. Hundred something in this field, I believe. Nice big field. Nice ground. Nice land. So it's a big dog base. So the day's going good. As you can see, a little dirtier as the day goes along. That's the way it is. No breakdown yet, just the usual adjustments, greasing, filling up, all that kind of stuff. George come up and got my seed trailer, take it back home, fill them back up the seed. It wasn't clear empty, but I can't make it the whole day. So he come up to get it, take it back, and it'll be enough to last me a day. And I'll probably have enough I can fill it up in the planter for a leave, and then I'll have maybe a full trailer. At least that's my plan. We'll see how that goes. But all in all, this ground's in great shape, nice dry soil. It's the way you like.
like it when you plant. So in the dust, bends a bus. That's what they say. That's, uh, you know, there's a lot of truth to that. A lot of times you don't have any choice. Like I said earlier, you're waiting for everything to get perfect. You never get nothing done. But today, this year anyway, this spring, for us, the ground's been about perfect. The last two years been kind of a bear, especially last year. The soil moisture and all. It's going real good now. Uh, we're planting on prescription like we usually do. Even with the soybeans, the better the ground, the less you plant. Proceed to say, the worse the ground, the more you plant. Because everything's going good. Here is Mark Brown's house. Mark Brown is the guy, him and his wife Michelle, that the boys bought this ground from up here in Crawford County whenever we moved up here. He was a farmer, decided to retire from farming. So he's going to auction his farm and made a call and come up and had a talk with him and he canceled the auction and sold the ground to us, our family, the boys. What impressed him was the boys had the end of their shoes wore out, the steel toes were showing him, or showing. Said he liked people that worked. He saw those boys in those boots, which wasn't boys, young men. They knew they knew how to work, so that's what uh, made him want to sell him to the farm. So we made a deal and got the job done. Be farmer 
drivers in the seats no matter what happens. Turn the GoPro back on, hoping you can see that beautiful sunset. Showed you that how beautiful it was this morning, and now it's looking nice this evening. A nice sunset in the west. Been a very productive day so far. We got 390 acres of beans in the ground today, and I don't think I got started because I had to move up to Crawford County. It's 30 miles. I didn't get started actually planting until 830 maybe. Somewhere around there. And it's uh, still early, it's just 730. And we'll see what the tally is for the day's over. I like seeing that dust in the air whenever you're planting. Look at this wealth of information I got right here in front of me. I got the population of planting. I could hit that and change my populations. Planting. Planting a uh, straight 120 right now. Got my down pressure, how it's right. Population's running right on, on each row. Over here's my auto steer. How nice this is, this auto steer. Been planting with it several years now. Sure a lot nicer than using the old markers. Straining to see it sometimes. Trying to keep the row straight. Back to when I started planting, it was 1972, I believe. Several years without a cab, but always said I would never plant with a cab. But I changed my mind on that a long time ago now. Cold days, hot days, dusty always days. Now you just sit in here in luxury and listen to the weather radio. I used to get really dirty, now you can see I don't get dirty anymore. 